Hello, so today I'm going to be doing a timing diagram for an SR flip-flop. Um, generally, you will hear the term SR latch, um, and the only difference between an SR flip-flop and an SR latch is that um, an SR latch is enable triggered, so level triggered, and an SR flip-flop is clock or edge triggered. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, falling edge SR flip-flop. So let's call that a negative SR flip-flop. So the first thing to do uh, when talking about this is to look at our truth table. So first we have uh, our S, our R, our clock, and a Q. So in all cases, we know that they're going to be falling edge. And one, one. So the idea um, is that this is uh, set and reset. So when SR are both zero, we're going to hold. Uh, when S and R are zero and one, we're going to give zero. And when S and R are 1 and 0, we're going to give 1. And this is a forbidden state. So 1, 1 is forbidden. Okay. So now let's do our example here. So um, our signals for S and R were predefined from a previous video. I just uh, took them and modified the value of uh, the signal of R just a little bit so we don't hit a forbidden state. So now let's go over S and R and how we get our Q. So we're doing a falling edge, so we're going to look at the black dotted lines, which is our falling edge of our clock. So let's assume Q starts at zero. So we're going to start low until we approach this edge where S and R are zero and one respectively. So we're going to stay low. And let's stay low until we hit this next falling edge where they're also zero and one. So we're going to stay low again. And now we get to this edge where S and R are one and zero respectively. So let's say we have 2.5 nanoseconds of delay. We're going to hit this edge and go for 2.5 seconds, so about here, and then we're going to rise. And then we continue on just before this next black edge, and we see that they're 1 and 0 again, so we keep at 1. And then we don't have another falling edge until the end of this period here. But let's say that we extend on. So let's draw an extension of our clock here. And let's say these just stay the same. S and R are zero all the way up until our next falling edge. So we would hold the value all the way over. So that's our timing diagram for a negative edge triggered SR flip-flop.